All right, you're probably watching this from your warm, comfortable house, but let me tell you, it is not warm today at all. Got my buddy Justin Bowles with me today. <laughs> we made a long run here into the Mississippi River Golf Outlet. Freezing cold, really, really chilly. Ice all over everything this morning when we loaded up the truck. But we've gotten into the MRGO and water temps are in the mid 50s. Not only that, take a look at this water. Absolutely perfect. Justin has been coming in here and catching beautiful speckled trout on hard plastic baits. And that's a great thing to do this time of year. I absolutely love it. So we're gonna give it a whirl today. Wish us luck. What are you throwing? You want this spinning rod? The egg beater. The egg beater. All right. Good for you, buddy. If you learn how to throw that, I'll let you throw a bait caster. I got my new Okuma, the Komodo. I'm throwing this uh, Berkeley Juke that I had good success with, I don't know, back in maybe November here in the MRGO. Justin is throwing a, what is it, a mirror lip. A mirror lip. Sorry, I didn't look at it. That's his favorite bait out here by far. How deep are we? Four seven. You like that zone, that depth? I like it a little bit deeper. Okay. You can throw it a mile, huh? Yeah. Dude, I got this rigged on a uh, 15 pound mono. Very unusual for me. It just feels so, so different. Yeah. I'm gonna throw this SB57 crankbait, smaller profile. Of course, yeah. You gotta figure out where they are. So dude, you ever fish soft steel braid? It's incredible. Soft steel? Soft steel, yeah. Soft steel. This is actually 40 pound test. It's super smooth and really, really thin. How deep are we? I wonder if it gets better as the day goes on because that sun warms its flat. I think it may. I haven't been out here this early. Oh, there he is. There he is. Doesn't feel too big, but to start. <laughs> not big at all. I'm not even sure he's a keeper. What do you think? He's long and skinny, but well, you got the front hook. There you go. Hey, you gotta take baby steps. You gotta crawl before you can walk. I don't think you're gonna make the cut, bro. Lucky for you. <laughs> Dude, he's actually 12 inches. You got him? I missed him. Nope, I you still got him. Should I spotlight? Yeah. Get him, Justine. About the same as mine. But I bet he's legal. Yours is legal for sure. Yours is about 13. All right, I caught that fish on the SP57 crankbait, which you know I've been killing the fish on this whole winter, mostly bass and redfish, but it's also a very good speckled trout bait. Justin's still throwing his mirror lip. It's probably not a coincidence that we caught those fish kind of on the edge of this channel. It drops off here real close to where we are. With this water being on the colder side, you figure as that sun gets up, it's gonna warm the flat and those fish are gonna to wanna to move up there. But overnight, they probably push right off to that little bit deeper water. See if it's a trend. My fish did not fight whatsoever. Yeah, well, they're not very big. <laughs> it's nice to catch a couple trout. 
Oh, you dog. You dirty dog. How deep does that bait run? Allegedly three to six, but I, I don't think I get it that deep. I think, um, I think probably for me, it's running about three to four. I'm sure if you had it like on eight pound test, you'd probably get it deeper. This bait, this bait is incredible. It really is. Like I really love this bait. This is the drift. Feel good about it. Is it a little shallower? Is it four feet? I'm just lawn mowing. Yeah, dude, you can see the grass. Shallow here. Oh, see, I told you this was the drift. Is that a bass? No, that's all right. It's all right. It's a start. I'd rather be a trout, but... Yeah. Not a bad fish. All right, and there he goes. How deep? Five, five. Oh, there. there he is. There he is. Oh, no, he's still on. Thought he threw the hook. All right, all right. Spy lock. Well, that one Justin just missed was definitely the biggest of the day, but they're certainly not big. But heck, it's February, it's late winter. These fish have been picked over. This time of year, you gotta take what you can get. And we'll take these. Fish on, getting bowls. Can't come up at all. There you go. Nice fish. Legal at least. Doesn't need to be measured. Let's see if you can make this one. Good job, buddy. Now Justin's throwing the mirror lip, as I mentioned. And actually today is the first day he's thrown it on spinning gear. Just because the bait doesn't cast all that well. It's pretty light, really helicopters, and you can't get a lot of distance. So he opted to go with the, uh, a spinning rod, and so far, so good. Man, they're hitting that mirror lip. Oh, he bastard. Yeah, the bite. Got him? Got him? Feel decent? Yeah, no. No, he's shrinking. All right, good fish, fish of the day. It's nice to see some trout in the box. What's up, buddy? So I noticed Justin was uh, fishing a lot slower than me. So I slowed that one way down. And I fish hit on that pause. Good speckled trout. Good speckled trout. Super skinny. <laughs> yeah. Look how skinny all these fish are. I mean, it, like they're wide in the back, but man, it, look at that way. They were freaking tanks. Were they? Like pea trout. Like big fat, yeah. fat fish.
So that water has warmed up a degree since we've been out here. It was 54.8, now it's 55.8. And that little bit of warm up pulled more fish onto this flat because the action's definitely picking up. Unfortunately, so is the wind. This is about the fourth drift we've made. Caught fish on one previous drift. And right now we're just kind of sitting on spot lock. We've caught probably four or five while we're sitting here. We'll give it a minute and when it dies, we'll resume our drift. Oh, wait. You got him? While wow, it was sitting still, huh, dude? Good fish, Justin. Let's get a let's get a pick of that. Okay. Oh, I sure did. Come on back. You throwing that on mono? I'm throwing it on braid. Floral leader. And it's hard when they're actually when they're biting a little bit to let it sit there still. It is. Yep. Another bite, dude? Yeah. I don't know if they're small or what. They're tapping. This guy's trolling for tuna right on our drift. That's a, this type of stuff just drives me nuts. That's why I get back in the marsh away from everybody. Yeah. So they got 150 yards away from us, so we can't All right. Yeah. More than a cast. Yeah. There he is. There he is. I, I sure do. Not a bad fish, Justin. Look how beautiful in that clean water. Love it, love it, love it. Right alongside of the we in the boat. Keeper trout in the month of February. Hey, thanks for this blue back mirror lip. Yeah, Justin, I appreciate it. Can I keep it? No. <laughs> Get him, Justine. I did. Looks like a decent fish. Pretty fish. All right. What do you guess? 15 inches? They're more active. They're definitely more active. You're right. I can't catch him. Nobody's going to catch him. Let's go in that corner over there. That's where they catch him. Right, right. <laughs> oh, they must not be here. Oh, there he is. Oh, sh. Oh, he came back. Look at that, dude. He came right back. That was awesome. You want to have the same fish or a different fish? He felt those hooks the first time for sure. Man, this blue back is so good. <laughs> Let me spot lock us right in the cheek, bro. Right in the cheek. Dude, he was lassoed and everything. Now that I've figured this out, I think we need to come do this like earlier. December, yeah. like we get a bad day where you know a lot of boats won't be out here. But dude, I'll tell you this. I used to in Delacro, we wouldn't we used to throw Mirror 52 MRs, but they wouldn't hit them until the shrimp were oh goodness. <laughs> Feels like a decent fish there, Justine. There we go. Yeah, I mean this is this is this is up there for me as far as ways to fish. 
They wouldn't hit them until the uh, shrimp were gone. Well, this is your bait. I'll give it back to you. Oh, there he is. <laughs> no, I'm not. I can't uh, make the rod bend like that. <laughs> Dude, that's incredible, huh? They don't want the green back. They want the blue back. Either that or it's just skill of the angler. It's one of the two. You know which one I think it is. Good fish. So it looks like we're maxing out today like 15 inches, but you've caught some pretty decent fish in here in the past few weeks, huh? Yeah. Up to like how big? 22. 22? But still, I am not uh, disappointed in the least. No gorillas, but man, it's nice to get on some trout. Yeah, correct. The strategy for fishing cold days out here is to sleep in and come a little bit later. We were here bright and early this morning, really, really cold, lots of boats, but most of them have left. And I'll tell you, the fishing has gotten good here later in the day. As you would expect, this flat has warmed up. These fish have moved up. We're not killing them by any stretch, but every drift, we catch five, six, seven fish. And look, it's the month of February. You'll take that any time in February. And they're all keepers. I don't know if we've caught even a throwback yet today, maybe one or two, but good solid 14, 15 inch speckled trout. And we caught them a really fun way to fish them, throwing these jerk baits, hard plastic baits. Man, they just hit those differently than they do soft plastics. So much fun. All right, we're about to call it a day. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Also subscribe to the Marshman Mass on channel on YouTube. And don't forget to hit the notification bell so be notified whenever we post a new video. And until next time, if we don't see you in the marsh, we'll see you right here on Marshman Mass on.